Hello, I'm here at Crumbs and Doilies HQ and I like things to be neat and tidy just as much as the next person, but sometimes there is a time and a place for a bit of filthy naughtiness, you know? Sometimes you just gotta break free of the straight lines and say, today is gonna to be a messy day. And this recipe is exactly for those moments. This is gonna be a filthy flapjack and it is really filthy. Now the good thing about this recipe is you can keep it really tidy if you want. You don't have to add any of the filthiness that I'm going to add um, and then it's just a really good simple flapjack recipe. But the basic element of the base is flapjack. Uh, and if you're not familiar with flapjacks, in the UK a flapjack is an OT sweet kind of bar. In America, I think they're more like pancakes, so don't be confused. This is very different to a pancake, um, but this is something that most children in U the UK would have grown up eating, and it's essentially um, oats, sugar, flour, butter, and the essential ingredient, which is golden syrup. Now, I use golden syrup quite a bit in my recipes, and it is a very British thing, so if you're finding it difficult to find where you come from, um, you can use things like corn syrup, sometimes even honey, but golden syrup really lends this flapjack the a really distinctive flavour and it's not really sort of imitable unfortunately <laughs> so if you can get golden syrup brilliant news um, and essentially I'm just going to whack it all in a bowl and mix it together but I'm also going to add uh, a little bit of extra filth which is in the shape of crisps so I'm just going to be using uh, or potato chips if you're American um, I'm going to be using just ready salted to add a little bit of sort of salty sweet vibe so I'm going to put all my ingredients into a bowl I've got 150 grams of oats 100 grams each of demerara sugar golden syrup and cold chopped butter 50 grams of plain flour a good of salt and 50 grams of crisps. So now I'm going to get my hands in there to rub it all together as if I was making a kind of short crust pastry. This is a messy job but you want to make sure that all the butter in particular has mixed through the rest of the ingredients because you don't want to end up with like nuggets of melty butter in your flapjack. You want it to be really well combined. So my flapjack mixture is nicely mixed, so now it just needs to go into a tin. I've got a seven inch tin, which I've already greased and lined with baking paper. I'm going to tip it all in and press it down into the corners. And once you have a nice even layer of packed down flapjack mixture, you need to bake that at 170 degrees C for about 20 minutes. My flapjack's out of the oven and it's cooled down. So now I'm gonna make the really tasty chewy caramel topping. I'm going to start by dry heating some sugar. I've got 75 grams. Um, I'm not adding any water. I'm just going to heat this dry and wait until it gets a nice golden colour. While your sugar's caramelising, make sure you've got your next ingredients ready because at the end, when this is golden, you want to add them all at the same time. So you want to have 50 millilitres of double cream ready along with 25 grams of cold unsalted butter and then a quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla extract and a good pinch of salt. All right, that's a lovely golden amber colour, so I'm just going to whack all my ingredients in and give them a good stir. And once all your ingredients are really well mixed in, you want to put that back on the heat and over a low-medium heat, get it to 116 degrees C. Right, that's 116, so now I'm going to pour it over my cooled flapjack. And then just give the tin a tip around just to make sure it reaches all the edges. And now, while it is still tacky and wet, I'm just going to crumble some broken up pretzels onto the top of that to make it even filthier. And once you're satisfied you've got enough pretzels on there, you just need to leave that to cool down completely before the next bit. It's all cooled down now, so it's time to finish this guy off in the filthiest way I know how, starting with a nice layer of chocolate ganache, which I've already made. It's 50 grams of dark chocolate and 50 grams of double cream, which I've just melted together in the microwave until it's a pourable consistency. So I'm gonna whack that on. And just as I did with the caramel, I'm going to tip the tin just to make sure it's reached all the edges and corners nice and evenly. And then to finish it off and give it some extra crunch and colour, I've got some crisps or potato chips, some more pretzels and some crispy M&Ms which are going to add a bit of colour and an extra bit of crispiness. I'm going to sprinkle all over. And if you're not satisfied yet with the level of filth that you've achieved, then you can add more by drizzling it with some caramel. I've made caramel loads of times in my recipe video, so I'll put a link to that up there. And so drizzle away.
And now I just need to put that into the fridge for about half an hour to set completely. It's chilled, it's set, it's ready to cut. So grab yourself a big knife and get chopping. <sighs> Let's have a go on this. I think it's going to be crispy and sweet. Let's see. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So flapjacks are supposed to be nice and chewy, and this is absolutely chewy, chewy, chewy. Mmm, so good. With all those salt, <laughs> salty bits in, this is really delicious and really filthy. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed that recipe, even if it is a bit naughty, and I hope you make it. Please do take a picture of it and hashtag Cupcake Gemma so I can see it. Um, I will be back next week. In the meantime, have you checked out my merch yet over at CupcakeGemma.com? I have a brilliant range of amazing things, including this lovely apron, which I probably should have been wearing this whole time because you can't really see on this jumper, but it's actually covered in caramel and chocolate now. But if you like this, you can go over to CupcakeGemma.com and grab yourself one. Keep your clothes nice and clean, unlike mine. And I'll be back next week with another, another recipe, so I will see you then. Bye.